Mark. I study, well, I'm a, I'm a sculptor and I work with a lot of different materials um, from timber to wire, recycled tires, that sort of thing. Um, I study Bachelor of Arts in Education at Sydney Uni with a major in uh, Fine Arts, um, History and Theory. So I, yeah, I sort of had my own studio. First I was working out of my parents' garage and then had a studio at uh, Addison Road um, Community Centre. Oh, right. Got a bunch of art studios in there. And yeah, sort of kept jumping around. Cool. Place to play. And then I've got my own. I've got my own studio. At, uh, I've got a studio residency at the moment at Sashimi Studios in Marathon. Cool. And um, yeah, so that's good. And that's right. And then I'll have my show in their gallery at the end of October. It's a big plan. Awesome. Um, and. Then I, I work out of Tortuga Studios a lot. Oh, yeah, with Ian? Like, yeah. Yeah, so I work, out, I work with him there a lot, and I also like hire space off them when I need to do larger projects, and yeah. especially large timber projects and that kind of thing. Cool. What were some of the things you learnt in those early experiences of you know, having your own studio space and um, you know, obtaining equipment and um, materials, that kind of thing? Yeah, it's kind of been a slow process. Yeah. Yeah, it would have been a good point. It would have been good to have somebody going, oh, if you do it this way or if you just use this tool. Yeah. But um, yeah, equipment's a big one, like getting the gear that you need to do certain things and also knowing what's available and what, what you can do with what tools is definitely a big one. Any uh, important lessons you learnt in those first few years? I don't know. Just make stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think all of the like, all of the opportunities I've been given, and all the good work I've had, or like opportunities to exhibit and that kind of thing, have all just come from just making the art first, and then figuring out where it's going to go. Or how many hours a week do you spend in your studio on your art practice? Um, at the moment, not, I, I'm sort of working a lot, so I'm only getting about two days a week in there, yeah. um, if that sometimes. So, yeah, maybe like 16 hours okay. a week, which isn't very much. Um, yeah. But the way that I sort of find myself working a lot of the time is to work slowly, one, two days a week while I'm working um, on other people's projects or, or whatever. And then um, I'd normally have like big blocks of a month to just be in my studio every day. And, yeah. Cool. So you've got, so that two days a week for your own practice yeah. and then the other work you do is working, is that all you do for work is work for other people as well? Yeah, pretty much. Sweet. Been doing, I mean, huge for the past two years, but a large range of jobs. Yeah. Um, but I'm trying to get more and more work making other artists work and, yeah. That's, is that That's a good a way project. to kind of develop skills and yeah. contacts and... Definitely. Um, yeah, skills, contacts, and also added, like, practice, you know, just being in a studio practice and that kind of thing, it's yeah. awesome to, like... I feel like it's brought me up a lot in terms of like the the quality of work and the amount of time and detail that goes into work. Yeah. When you're doing somebody else's, you sort of have to work to their standard or to the standard of the um, you know the fine institutions that this work's being shown in. Yeah. And I take that into my own practice and it sort of pushes me to do a bit more finish and a bit more. Yeah. yeah, awesome. How did you first kind of get in contact with artists like Benita and um, and other artists you worked for? Yeah, I started. I mean, I started just making my own stuff, and then through that, um, I've sort of I don't know, people have approached me at different points and sort of said they want that work in. So I don't know. It always seems to be a flow from like from what you do to who you meet and, yeah. and, and how you make those connections. But um, I started working with Ed um, about two, two or three years ago 
Um, and that was, yeah, that was a big connection point for a lot of other contacts I've got. Cool. Um, and then also just volunteering for different arts things and that kind of thing. I met Benita through the Desert Equinox Festival Hi. that went out in Broken Hill. So I went out there just volunteering um, cool. to sort of, yeah, do a bit of work and it's sort of things like that flow on sometimes yeah. and sometimes they don't. And But yeah. it's been a real gradual process. It hasn't all just happened like that. No, no. But I mean, you know, two years is not a long time to yeah, true. build up contacts. True.